Hi guys, I'm Adam Earl, now a second year student, and if you're watching this, chances are you're coming to the University of Lincoln to study, and you're just about to move into your new place in the city somewhere. You've accepted your accommodation offer, you've paid your deposits, now all you've got to do is actually move into the place, which can be a little daunting. <laughs> just kidding. Despite how large of a thing this can seem, it's actually a lot easier than you might think if you just plan ahead. When should I arrive? The simple answer to this is that you can actually start living in your house or flat as soon as your accommodation agreement starts. But before you get too excited, there are a few things you should think about before you turn up at your new place. First off, whilst you can access your accommodation, it doesn't necessarily mean you should straight away. If you'd like to make the most of what you're paying for, by all means go ahead. But remember, that's where the independence starts and you should try and be best prepared for that. Some accommodation agreements start before you get your student loan payment, so it can be a little pricey to be spending a couple of weeks without any finance. If in doubt, contact the management team at the accommodation. They're always happy to offer advice and give any help. Also, make sure you check with them to see if there are any arrival plans in place. Some places need timed arrivals so that they can move people in as efficiently as possible. If you're traveling with someone in a car, think carefully about when you want to drop stuff off, because some places can get very busy at the start of the semester and parking can get limited. Also, before you pack too much, think about the size of your room and think about the size of the car that you're gonna come in. What should I bring? What you bring to uni is entirely up to you and varies for different people, but take note that some things may be provided for you by your accommodation. For example, some places will provide a kettle, but others won't, so you'll need to bring your own if you want a brew. Milk and one Perfect. If you're not sure what's included in your flat, there's a handy what's in my flat guide, which you can find here. Here. It's here. It's not, it's not like there. It's not there. It's here. Uh, but if there's anything you're not sure about, just ask. Chances are someone is curious about or has asked about the same things as you, so there's really no harm in it. Essential items to bring might include bed sheets, a mattress protector, cutlery, pots and pans, the essential kitchen utensils, a toothbrush, or bits for the shower that you might use like a loofah. What's a loofah? Also, you will need to do the whole cleaning thing, so maybe bring some cleaning products with you. Do remember that before you decide to bring certain items with you, they may not be usable in the flat you're in, or you may have to go extra steps if you want to use them. For example, if you want to bring a TV to watch anything live or on iPlayer, then you'll have to pay for a TV license. But if you'd like to use it for gaming, or if you want to use it as an extra monitor for a PC or laptop, you'll be absolutely fine. Overall, the key to moving as efficiently as possible is to plan it. This can cut stress, reduce time, and make sure you don't forget any key things. If you do forget stuff though, it's not the end of the world, because you can pretty much buy everything you need. However, it can be a little pricey to have to buy new cutlery, other utensils, and things you need to live with, like a loofah. Seriously, what is that? What now? Now that you're all moved in, you may be wondering what to do next. One thing I can wholeheartedly recommend is going for a wander to scope out your surrounding. It's always good to know what the shops are and what services are around you and when they open and close. Also, I can recommend going for a walk around the uni campus. It's useful to know how long it takes to get from point A to point B. Moving to a new place is a big step in life, but don't worry, the university has services available if it all becomes a bit too much. The university has services available such as the Wellbeing Centre, which is here, the Student Support Centre, which is here, and the university's accommodation team, which is here. All of these services are here to help you feel as comfortable as possible. And do remember, you can ask your flatmates for help as well. They're going through the same process that you are. Well, that's it, guys. I hope this video has been of help to you moving into your new place. If you'd like more information and helpful tips on moving in, be sure to check out the links in the description below. And please remember, you're not alone in this. There are loads of people around to help you out with things. Thanks for watching, guys. Oh. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah.